This is Sarah. She's a criminal intelligence analyst Morning. at Interpol. Basically, I help connect the dots between countries. Sarah's part of Interpol's environmental security program, an elite team that's linked to police forces all over the world. Elite team. I like that. An elite team sharing information on transnational environmental crime. Oh, hang on. There's a police raid happening in Brazil. And they're looking for protected species of birds. We passed on that info. Hang on a second. I'm environmental crime I'm is big business, with criminals operating out of every continent. And here, a seizure of timber in Kenya. Looks like rosewood? Another protected species. You know, in forestry crime, there were huge multinational companies involved in illegal logging, decimating vast areas of land. But it's easy for them to hide because they own the transport and shipping companies. And of course, they are not paying their taxes either. Interpol also plays a strategic role in preventing fisheries crime using satellite and radar to track illegal fishing vessels. This ship was plundering the Antarctic waters for years, raking in millions in illegal profits. The crew even sank their own ship to hide the evidence. Over the past decade, illegal proceeds from environmental crime have increased by more than 5% every year. Waste trafficking in particular, it's almost as lucrative to criminals as drug trafficking. And you know, when we run the names of the suspects through our databases, we find the same names linked to other crimes such as money laundering, drugs and firearms, and even human trafficking. It's all connected. By analyzing police data and studying criminal patterns to identify, predict, and prevent crime, Sarah helps dismantle these criminal networks. Some might say she's a bit of a hero. The real heroes are the police forces and the agencies on the ground. They're the ones making the arrests. Police forces and agencies around the globe recently took part in Operation Thunder, an Interpol-supported annual global crackdown on wildlife and forestry crimes. And you know what the best part is? More than 45,000 live animals were saved, and nearly 700 arrests were made. Great work, Sarah. That was a long day at the office. And tomorrow, we'll do it all again. Interpol, linking forces of nature.